What's going on out there in YouTube land? TNT Neon Prime here, back with another review. And this is this time it's on review on SND's-08 The One, aka Optimus Prime. And I'm gonna let you know that I purchased this guy from a fellow YouTuber, uh, TM Reviews. It was the one that he previously reviewed. Um, so I ended up buying it off of them and fixing the, the little minor details that was was wrong with it. So go by his channel, TM Reviews, and check out his channel also. All right. So, yes, we are going to do a review on the one. First off, let's get him out of the way and we talk about what's going on on the box. So we have TM, we have SMD, SND-08, the one. We have Optimus Prime on the front, or the one on the front. We have the logos on the side. We have them posing on the back. We have it on the top. We have on the bottom, nothing on the side. So, there you go for the packaging. And bringing in him. Um, first off, I'm gonna start off, the feel of this guy feels just like Flame Toys Fun Rye Model Kit. They are some places that feel just like it. this could be a model made out of model material, but it's good model material. Pretty much like Fun Ride model uh, Optimus Prime. So, I mean, to me, they places up here that do feel like this material, and I will show you that during transformation. But it's like a model that can transform pretty much. That's what it feels like to me. Also, this is the go with your main line uh, Optimus uh, main line Transformers. It is based off the, for the main line. It's competing against the main line Transformers and it's based off the IDW version of this Optimus Prime and I will post a picture of him either in the top left or top right corner so y'all can do the compare or if I find two pictures, I will post them there together at the same time. All right. So what comes with Mr. The One is a nice manual. It does have literature in it also. So not just pictures, but they do tell you what to do. Also, they also tell you what to do in transformation. It comes in English and uh, another foreign language. I would not call that language out because I do not know what language it is. Um, but we know it. This is a good book, so it shows all what you need to do. All right, he comes with a set of hands. Also, uh, we have the grab the matrix chest opener hands we have two fists which I don't know why they put the fist with it because he pretty much can make a fist out of his hands now because of articulation and we have his famous pointer hands also oh and to put these hands in they just peg right into place. So pretty much just pull this out and peg this in. And that's another reason why I was saying it feels like a model. Also, because of the hands. It's pretty much if you can look at if you see look at these hands. It's pretty much like they put together like model kit hands. So, but that's not a bad thing. Um, also, he has a set of Energon axes, and they pretty much will clip in this area right here. He got two pegs on the side, and they pretty much will peg into this slot right here and pretty much stay in place like so also and he comes with a 
five millimeter port stand mount so it just pegs right up in here in the crotch area and he come with his famous ion blaster and he can hold this they have the, the traditional peg in place so it just pegs right in the spot here close up the hands and he can hold hold it pretty well alright alright let's zoom in on his bring him in for his close up can we get a close up with you mister the one alright so we have a sort of grayish white face um, and it's not a bad looking face not one bit um, head sculpt look really 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 good we have white uh, sun visors here over the windshield we have a nice windshield up in here we have uh, grayed out uh, panels here with the windshield wipers grayed out um, his chest do open up and show the detail and they're looking real good and also he can this is when you need fingernails to pretty much can open this up and raise that up to reveal the matrix of leadership this is a non-painted matrix um, it is made of die cast and I had a time getting them out and y'all know me by now I do not like pulling the matrix out and take a chance of messing it up but it is made of die cast so that is good and there is quite a bit little detailing in the back of him alright let's bring that back now And close him up because it's already trying to show off what articulation he can do and we're not at that point yet all right for the abs he has a nice ab area have faux headlight have headlights here um, they have some type of painting for here for his waist belt also let's know if y'all saw that or not also the legs is done in white um, so it's a mix of a the colors is a mix of a G1 and well, this is a mix of a G1. Um, he had the white vents here on the bottom. He has gray inserts here in the toe. Um, he has white for the wheels and on the back side, pretty much a lot of a lot of white, a lot of white. Um, don't mind the QC sticker there alright so then the detailing on the arms is bland no not too much detailing on the arms um, this is a false tire that's a false tire so like I said it's the ID version IDW version of him um, right here on the chest area also has metal those, uh, side view mirrors so there is some few metal parts in him. Yep. All right. So for articulation, his head is not on a ball joint; it is on a swivel. So he gets this much up. No down. I mean, you can lever, lever his head off, lever, level his head off, and get some little bit of down. Um, his arms can do a full rise and you can take this part not will not take it loose to get a butterfly joint all you got to do is pop that forward and he can get a good butterfly joint pop that back in place um, his elbows he can get a good fold on his elbows almost a completely closed so but if you take the tire the fake tire 
and bring it in he can get that much of a complete close with that um the tire is pretty much there to cover up the joint here and plus so it can favor the idw version of them um so he can take that with his first elbow he gets this much and then with the second elbow right in here he can get that much all right um for his hands he do have a a swivel in the hands he can get a tilt doing with the little peg on the inside of it he can get that his hands are molded his fingers are molded together his thumb is on a single ball joint and that's the only thing that it can do for that another reason why i say it feels you know it's like a model kit um he can get full rotation there on that also he has articulating body panels here on the side right here on the side have articulating body panels and they can go that far up so he can get kick that up so he can get almost let's see get it, show that thigh swivel so he can get a kick out to here with the thigh swivel and to add it up almost a full van down if you if it won't for this he can get a full van he couldn't be able to get a full van dam um so that right there of course you saw how the had a thigh swivel and the skirt went up he can get a full frontal kick like so and then with a full kick all the way up to the top all right um he has a knee bend and he gets a full bend right here to the back and that's it also forgot that he can get a kickback that much to the back all right he only has a thigh swivel he has no knee swivel um he has a toe down due for transformation and no toe up um he has architect uh, articulation for foot forward foot toe forward and he has a tip also tilt right and tilt left um, he also have a waist swivel and he has a sort of kind of ab crunch you can take it out of transformation and get a little more a little more ab crunch so yeah that's about it for articulation oh and his ears can move for articulation uh, for what reason I have no idea why all right all right for height comparison we're going to bring in Siege Optimus Prime I think this is War for Cybertron Siege War for Cybertron Optimus Prime bring it in so I just saw he is um, bring in Warpath. I think this is Siege Warpath also. Uh, we'll bring in Legacy Smoke Screen and Blue Streak. So y'all can see how they how they fare up. And we'll bring in Studio Series 86 Hound. If I got the number wrong, we know it's a studio series. And for giggles, we'll bring in G1 Optimus Prime. All right. Also, we'll bring in Fun Ride Model Optimus Prime. And they feel just alike. Weight is heavier, yes, on him, because die cast, but the far as the plastic feels just like this guy and like I said there's nothing wrong with that because this guy plastic is very very high quality to my opinion um, but he's feel just like this all right all right let's it's transformation time 
and he is a hoop to transform. Um, he has mainline purposes, but masterpiece transformation. So he might be confused here a little bit. He want to be mainline, but also want to be masterpiece at the same time. So we'll call him MMP. We'll call him, you know, we'll call him MLMP, mainline masterpiece. We'll do it that way. All right. So for transformation, first, what we want to do is take the fake tire and extend the arm, take the fake tire, pull it back and fold it in this compartment right here. Also, what we want to do is take that, take this panel here and fold the hand in, uh, plug that back in. So make sure when you do this is part right here his his little hand want to come out all the time let me fix that all right so just basically take his hand and make sure the thumb is closed in the hand is as made as a fist and pull it in like so and we're gonna close this up for now then we're gonna take and rotate the arm just like that then the, the second hinge in here, what we're going to do is take that and fold it. Use that hinge and fold it just like so. So pretty much you're going to have it looking like that. All right. Then from there, let's just bring it down. From there, we're going to take his st smoke stack, bring it up and bring this guy this panel back here down so where we can take it and we can rotate it here all right and just open this up so we can close it down for for now so pretty much we're going to have it looking pretty much like that and we'll close it down for now all right and by the magic of video the other arm is done now all right so what i like to do next after getting these guys so we're gonna just go ahead and raise them arms up out of the way i like to take these panels and go ahead and push the panels in because if you put some pressure there you can break that very easily so i like to stack them up in there like so then what we're going to do we're gonna go ahead and open up his chest area. And these are on sliders. So you can slide this over and go ahead, open up that chest area. And the same for this side over here. Just slide it forward and go ahead and have the chest open. Then what you want to do in that, from this part is grab his chest grab here grab right here and might take a little bit to bring it open because this is like my maybe this is going to be my third time transforming so i still haven't got used to him which he gonna be staying robot mode anyway but pretty much pull up just like that and we can extend his area out like that Then from there, we're going to bring him back in the back. Well, right here, I'm going too fast. We're going to take his chest area, raise this up. Then we're going to flip that back down and then raise his head. And this backpack area is on a double joint. So what we got to do is, like I, what I like to do, I don't like to grab from right here. I try to grab from the inside. I don't know if you see where I'm at. Try to grab from the inside and pull back and then that extends that area out like that oh so then we're going to take prime little area here flip this up under turn his head around and bring this down like that then from there what we want to do is take the panels and just push them in bring them up push them in so they'll level out that area there all right so that's how we pretty much looking 
for now. All right, so from here, what you want to do, the two little wing areas up under here, what we want to do is raise them up on each side so it'll unlock that part of them. Then from here, raise that up. And what we want to do is bring his panel down, panel down like that, close it in, and bring it in like so. Then want to flip the wheels out. And you want to be careful when you flip the wheels out because they have a little retaining area right there. And what it need to do is slide up into place like that to lock in place. Same for this side, slide and lock in place. So what you want to try to do, you get ready to transform this guy. You want to put most of your pressure right here, never on the edge here. All right, then from there, we're going to pretty much bring here, right here, this area here is on a slide. I don't know if I can see this real good or not, but it's pretty much on a slide. Right in there, it's on a slide. All right, so what we're gonna do is slide this little guy forward. So see how we got it slide? Slide is full, we can get it, and then from there we're going to lock it down just like so. So, if I can get it, I slid past it. So, yeah, I'm going to put it right there like so. So, now we're pretty much looking like this area. Then, what you want to do, remember I said don't put a lot of weight here on the wheels you want to do is take the little flaps that you had earlier to unlock and fold them in like that could have folded them in earlier after we folded these down but you know try to make sure you get everything in order so now we looking pretty much like this pretty much like that all right all right, I don't know if I said it earlier, but make sure when you, this piece here, you can't come all the way forward. It has to go all the way back. And there's a little tab here that goes in here. So I had to sit there and think about that for a minute just to make sure. All right, now this is the part where it gets a little fillet, a uh, little finicky uh, as far as like most of you can see right now it's pretty much like a masterpiece transformation so we'll bring it down what you want to do here this ain't the failure part though what you want to do here is take this area here and you want to bring it out raise this white part up here and then this will come out to complete the bumper now the part i was saying like like it's a model to me and see how these guys tab in here this can pop out real easy so that's why I say it, like it feels like a model kit most of this looks like model kit material so yeah and what we want to do is bring that forward for now just like that all right then what we want to do go ahead and bring his head forward for now just like that so we're gonna bring all that forward so here comes the finicky part all right so what we're gonna do go ahead and fold this down this panel here down and the reason I say fold this panel right here down because this panel reveals the tabs right here and they will have to go up under here and this tab this hole here has to tab right in there on it right there see that little tab there so and it's kind of hard to see so what you want to do is take it out and so you see this panel here it likes to open up so i like to hold it and bring bring the arm forward like that so but also this arm got to work itself down 
and that's most of the fig that's mo part of the finicky part too and also uh, he has slid forward for some uh, reason all right so like I said make sure you try to keep all the pressure you can off the wheels so it won't mess with them all right so then keep that wheel down and what you want to do is get that up under there make sure get up under there make sure these panels line up they can't be too high if you see here once you pull down it releases a joint so it raises this joint up and what we want to do here is get these panels up under here but make sure we bring the slider and make sure we get these panels up in there because this is like like I said one of the most finicky parts of it and there's a tab like I said we got to get this tab there also these tabs here have to tab into that little slot right there so that's another little finicky area so now we got to see we got to go in there and place that in there all right so there you go like i said make sure you put pre when you do this put pressure here and here because you can snap this little the the little plastic parts easy but you can see there that i have him pegged in place and also right here on the side how everything is lined up um so make sure everything is lined up like that and from there from the magic of video we have the other side done now and there we have the other side done make sure like say all the panels line up you have this drop the shoulder wheel drop to reveal this second part of the hinge make sure you have everything lined up then from there what you can do is go ahead and flip these panels back to get them out of the way because what we're going to have to do now is take the tabs and tab up in here to lock them in place you can see where they go at um it is kind of tedious but let me see if i can get this to focus They tabs right up in there so what we had to do is take one I would do one side on camera and do the other side off camera as normal something I'm starting to do so it won't take up much video so pretty much what we had to do all right so there's a tab there's a tab right there so what we do is take that and see how that just dropped into place right there and then from the front here do the same from the front and it falls in line like so so there you go right there all right i'll go ahead and do this one on camera it didn't take as long now that i say that it probably take longer so like i said take that tab there's a little tab right in there so you just set that little tab right in there. Take that, drop the wheel in place. This little section here was cut out. You'll see that little section that's cut out right there. And that drops right in place like that. And pretty much in that area and just pretty much push up. Let's see right there push up and it should be good yeah just push up and it can't go no further than that so that's the part that part is done that's one of the most finicky part I think it's the worst out of the most so what we want to do here is take his front end take his front end and bring it all the way down and then that reveals the front <clears throat> now from here these tabs would tab into these slots right here 
And I'm going to tell you, like I said, this part can easily, easily come off. And let me see, kind of demonstrate it without it breaking. So pretty much, that's why I say it's like model pieces. So you got to be careful with this. And let me get it back up there. So it pops back in. So this is like very, very thin plastic. So from there, what you want to do is bring it down and line these tabs up. And once you do, I would not, if you're going to keep it in truck mode, I will snap it in all the way. But if you're not going to keep it in truck mode and you're just going to transform every now and then, just take these slots and like barely push them in. Don't, you know, don't fully lock them out because there's so much stress on them. Like you can see where I have a couple little stress marks right here already. Just pull it, push it in to about that much. That's if you're going to constantly transform them. But if you're going to like keep them in truck mode, then you know, keep them, you can keep them fully pegged in. But that's the most I will peg, peg them in. That's the most I would do it. Because like I said, it, it's, it's thin plastic. Uh, this side could part go in a little more. So, yeah, right there. And when you do just push it in from the bottom. So, there. And then from there, what we want to do is take Prime's head. And what we're going to do, like take take Prime head, tilt it back, and bring it down like here. And these tabs here, we tab into these spots here. And then just bring that down, slide it back and it pretty much tab into place like so and there's we have the cab done so we can go ahead and bring the mirrors back and pretty much this way we have the cab cab front of the cab done this part will come later in the transformation so there you go right there and then so there go the cab mode all right <clears throat> all right so we that far with the like, what the cab and stuff look like won't take the flaps that we pull to the back bring them forward just to keep them out of the way for transformation and from here what you want to do is take the booty part of him pull his flaps up and we have these flaps here which they can come apart just to slide this apart and raise that up to do the other side as well raise it up then what you want to do is these little tabs right here you want to put if you have some fingernails you want to grab here with the fingernail also grab here with the thumb and here and just what you want to do is hold the legs and slide that panel up from there you want to take and fold in here and fold these panels in here and for now we're just going to leave that up for now why well, we go ahead and fold these panels up right here leave that for now so what you want to do is turn this guy back around get the truck mode the cab out of the way and what you want to do is take and bend this let's do this leg we're going to bend his knee and lift this thigh panel up and when I say they lock in place, they lock in place. Take his thigh panel, then you want to take his kneecap. Right, get his leg out of the way. Let's get this panel out of the way too, because I do not like that panel being in the way. All right, take this knee and bring it up like that. This is on a metal hinge, die cast metal hinge, and fold it back in there. Then we're going to take that knee the thigh and lock the thigh back in place <coughs> all right then from there what we want to do here is make sure all this is up out of the way all right what we're going to do here is ah uh, well since it's all already done done itself we can take this back panel here and just go ahead and lift 
that up and get it out the way for right now since it's all we want to do it itself all right from here you want to take this front panel and fold it over like that then here it's on a slider it's on a slider thing so what you want to do is hold here pull back just a little bit not too much just a little bit and then slide this panel up just pull back just a little bit and it slides that panel up because that panel locks it locks right behind that that's why I say you want to do that all right then from there what you want to do is take this panel and rotate it not rotate it bring it down take this here front panel bring it here bring it down so far and just pretty much rotate it so do it again take it here and then just rotate it then from there you want to make some clearance bring a little bit of clearance You can't do it from here. Bring a little bit of clearance and bring it around just like that. Then to just do this here and then rotate it one more time and you should be looking like that. <coughs> All right, so we're gonna leave that like it is for now. Alright, so now right here what we want to do is get the foot out of the way for right now and take the wheel section here, bring it down. It's on a double hinge. So you can see how I did that. Bring it down and you want to, you really want to try to get it down as much as possible. Okay, first, yeah, let's do this. So this panel here. We're going to take this panel and pull it in like that. As we bring it down, we can bring that down, raise this panel. <sighs> Hold on. I got it jumped in there before I even can show y'all. All right. So, while I was saying you want to bring this panel, bring his wheels down. And this panel that was laying here on the side, you want to flip that up under there. Like that. So, you had to raise up on it just enough. So bring this panel as far as you can get it. And then what we're going to do is take this panel here and then roll it over the wheels and then fold it in. So I'm going to do that again. Want to take this panel here, roll it over the wheels and then flip it in like that. All right, then you want to take the wheels and bring them back up. So we're gonna leave that like that for now. So, all right, from here, what we want to do is take, and get this to focus. Take this panel that we took loose. We're gonna bring it forward to get it out of the way for right now. And from here, what we're gonna do is bring this panel up now this was the back side of the leg and this came off the front side this part came off the front side so we're going to bring this up have it here and what we're going to do is close it in we're going to have it here resting for right now because we're going to be working on this foot area all right so and it falls back down so this foot area here what we want to do is take this panel here and go ahead and open that panel up like that and take this is on a slider so on the slider here so what we're going to do is take that slider and slide it down be careful with that because like i said it's some good it's good plastic but this is pretty much screwed in this is another one of the parts i had to fix on it um, and so from there we're going to take this panel here and flip it open just like so 
All right. <clears throat> then what you want to do from here is take right here. It's on a slot. It's on. This is on a slider. So what you want to do is take its foot and bring it. Work yourself to bring to slide it up. So it'll look pretty much like that. Then from there, you can take it and bring it over like that. All right, so here is, you want to fold this panel down, fold it down like that. So we're gonna be pretty much looking like that, but I think I need to do this first. So we're gonna bring this panel around like we had before, and we're gonna bring it here so I'm gonna do that again make sure it slid all the way up we're gonna bring it here one more time bring it here <laughs> and roll it over here I notice it keep coming out of focus so pretty much what we doing is looking like that pretty much looking like that for right now then we're going to take it, our feet right here, and we're going to push it up in there like that. Take the foot and bring it here, pretty much closed in like that. Then we're going to bring this guy around like that, and he pretty much going to sit pretty much like that. So from there, and pretty much, but you see how bring it down like that and that is a leg done uh so pretty much that's a leg done and from here with movie video magic we have the other leg done now all right and from there we have the other leg done so this is the front side which is now the bottom side and we have the back side all right from there what you want to do is just go ahead and pretty much raise him up collapse him in if you will do right for me all right. well let's get this panel put this panel down out the way and then pretty much bring him in like so so he'll look like that from the bottom and pretty much from the side like that and from there now we can pretty much of course he comes on tab From there, what we want to do is he has panels here and here, here and here. So we pretty much is not are not going to uh, lock them in right now. We are going to work on getting the smokestacks together. So what you want to do is have the smokestack line up like that and they have a tab here which would tab into that little hole right there so and they slot from back to front first all right so take it here and pretty much raise that leg up to get that stack in there this is another one of the finicky areas also his legs was but I did his legs a little quicker than I did before so pretty much line it up and then try to pull which that's the part that's aggravating try to pull up on it
like that and then just tab that in and then that is done so by the magic of video gonna work on the other side and have it done now all right and there you go so from here now what we want to do is take the tab and tab the legs together so you got the legs here and with this with the hitch it has a hook here and a lip up under here so take that and pretty much bring it up and over to pretty much lock it in place It stayed locked so good last, last night when I done it. Now I don't want to do right. All right. So there it is. And it locks in place. <coughs> right. So, so and from there, what we want to do is bring these panels in. So there's a little tab there. We can bring them in. All right. See it. So let's see a little tab bring them in there and same with here on this side bring it in you don't want to do right always one side they want to do right but pretty much you can bring the tabs in it's because what it do is help with keeping these panels folded in so pretty much like that then bring the panel flip the panel out then bring the panel down and they have tabs here that will tab into there All right same thing for this side pretty much there you go with everything tabbed up and clean and locked into place like so so there is transformation of SND's dash 08 the one and he looks really really good all right, so let's go through them. They did a good job of hiding uh, Prime's feet. So pretty much Prime feet usually sticks out on some models, some models that don't, which I have a model here to show you in a minute. Um, the tires are rubber. He does roll really well. So he rolls real good. See how he rolls. Um, not much a robot is showing up in here except for thigh area. Uh, not much paint on them, which I don't mind that. It don't bother me. Uh, shoot. <laughs> I'm trying to do too much. One time, so back to wheels all rubber. <laughs> um, not too much paint on him, which that don't bother me. I don't mind it. I don't mind that not one bit. There it is from the back side looking real good. They could have painted the smokestacks. They could have painted the smokestacks and make them like a grayish or a chrome or whatnot. Um, the wheels are screwed on, as you can see. Figure. There you go. Wheels are screwed on. Um, the window detailing here, the side view mirror, the roof scoop, all that looks good. So it do look good as a truck front end, look real good. All right. For a size comparison, um, I bring it in my KO, uh, Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. So you can see how that looks together. Um, 
with headlight to headlight. He is a little longer than Bumblebee Prime. So he is a little longer than he is. Of course that tab came undone. Which it ain't gonna matter because he's going back in robot mode after this. Um, so it's t he, everything looked good to me for, I mean, he seemed like to be a little narrow in the front, but that doesn't matter to me. And let it go, uh, side front nose, nose cab, cab of the nose to the cab of the nose. Uh, so, um, but yeah, I mean, he looks really good as far as that. So, yeah, he still have a little bit of masterpiece in him. Mainline ways, masterpiece transformation. All right. All right, here's my closing thoughts on SND-08, the one. And this is by X, I think it's X Trans Box. I forgot to say that. We got an X Trans Box sticker on the front of it. Um, so this is an X, X Trans Box figure. Um, I think it's a pretty good figure. Um, the reason I say that, because if you want a figure that <coughs> you don't mind difficult transformations and um don't mind transforming them in and out i think this figure is for you if you don't mind a figure that you just want to transform a couple of times out of the year and put them up on the shelf and stand them up and have them stand up in robot mode i think this figure is for you if you think you're the type of person who want this figure just to keep him in robot mode I mean, yeah, in robot mode, and then get a the second figure and keep that figure in truck mode. I think this figure is for you. If you just a person who like to get transformers and transform them and keep them in their alt modes, I think this figure is for you. Um, this figure could have a little more paint done to them, like as far as the face mask. Um, being painted like a gunmetal uh, gray or whatnot, um, but on Prime Trent on G1 Transformers Prime, every now and then had a white mask. Of course, that was due with uh, flaw. Um, but he could stand a little more paint. Um, like I was saying in the beginning, the plastic feels like a model. It feels like a model kit, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, the plastic is holding up, and it's holding up good. Um, I have shown you some reasons why I say I think it's put together like a model, and it's pretty much to me a transformer that a model that can is able to transform. Um, I do think that it is along the lines with mainline but also has masterpiece transformations as far as uh, T uh, transforms element 001 OP leader um, as far as magic squares uh, MP40 uh, magic squares uh, trans, uh, Optimus Prime as far as masterpiece uh, MP44 I think that along the line of transformation with that. Um, I have no issues whatsoever with this model, um, but I have to throw out that it's a main line, it's competing with the main line, so I think the transformation could have been toned down just a little. Um, but all at the same time, I think the transformation was great. I mean, I don't mind complicated transformations. I mean, it's good for the mind. You keep your mind exercised. Your mind is a muscle, so it needs to be exercised. Um, 
Posability is great. You can see what I got him posed in right now. Um, by him not having an ab crunch, I can see why they gave him this pretty much this extra bend in the thigh. So he can pretty much get that little bit of that ab crunch. Um, no issues there. Truck look good. The robot, robot mode look good. So I just think he's an all around figure. Um, like I said, I got this from one of the YouTube viewers, but you can pick him up at Shozy store um, also. And once you get Shozy store and they have this special feature called support your uh, favorite viewer, um, throw in code TNT01, that's TNT01, and throw that code in for me a little bit, help support me a little bit. Um, it'll help keep the channel going and everything and so yeah um, I think you should pick this this piece up if you're one of those few that I call out if you don't want complication transformation don't pick this guy up just being real about it do not pick him up if you don't want complicated transformations but like I said if you're going to keep him in a certain mode pick him up I think he's good. All right. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give a thumbs down. Uh, hit that subscription. Hit that subscribe button for me. Bring me up in some more su su uh, su subscribers. Um, I thank y'all for subscribing, and that lets me know y'all liking my content. Um, hit that notification bell. So you can get the latest on reviews. I do have some more reviews coming up. I have some reviews coming up that I got Transformers still in the box that I haven't opened for I got for Christmas. I still got those to do. Um, I have a few more in there I need to do reviews on. So yeah, they stacking up on me. So I need to get them, go ahead and get them done. All right, as I always say, God is good all the time. TNT Neon Prime out. Be blessed.